Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and we are back with another build video for TU8. This comes right on the cusp of TU8.4, where we're getting the PvP nerf for rifles, which I think is going to make this build even stronger. That being said, this is another damage build for PvP and the DZ primarily, and that's because we're using the brand new System Corruption gear set, which has pretty clearly been tailored to PvP-specific use. If you didn't know, it's a DZ exclusive drop, similar to the Yaw gear, in case you need to go farm it. And this is easily my favorite build that I've made so far this patch, and one of the main reasons why is because it makes you feel a lot like you're playing Division 1. If you're a Division franchise vet and you played the first game, you'll know that the PvP in that game was much more in-your-face and mobility-based, and this gear set really emulates some of those same qualities. Additionally, I'm able to use a marksman rifle effectively with this build, and sniping is something I like in this game a lot, so that's just an extra bonus. And lastly, this set just looks super cool, and that's always a plus, right? So let's hop right into it. To start, for my guns, my primary is an AR. You could also run this with an SMG just as fine. I just prefer ARs more. So I'm using a FAMAS, and it is pretty crucial that you want to get crit here. If you're going to run it the same way I am with an AR, you want to focus in on crit. So I have crit chance rolled, and then strained is pretty crucial. I had reformed for a while, but what strained allows you to do is to sacrifice some crit damage on your gear and go for skill repair instead while still getting a lot of crit damage because after a second of firing you already have 20% extra crit damage from what you have as a base. So if we go to my stats base I have 24% crit chance and 56.1 crit hit damage and so with strained after a second of firing I'm already at 76% and then two seconds 90% so it gets up pretty fast and so yeah strained is a very nice talent to run and so that's what I have on there and I'm running all crit chance mods so I can get highest crit chance possible and then for my secondary I'm running the nemesis and I got this in the Dark Zone, in case you haven't gotten one this patch yet, I got a pretty nice roll on it. And the Nemesis was always my favorite sniper back from before Warlords, just because obviously how strong it is. And so Marksman, I like to use that one. And then you can also run whatever you want for your secondary. You don't have to do a sniper, you can do whatever you want. And then for my sidearm, I just have a sawed off with Preservation, because that's kind of similar to uh, Predatory in Div 1, and it's just nice to be able to heal up a little bit once you get a player down. So moving on to the gear, if you don't know what System Corruption does, the two-piece is 15% armor on kill, which is actually pretty nice. I think I reviewed this a while ago, and I was saying that that wasn't going to be the most helpful. It's pretty nice. I've noticed it a lot. And then the three-piece is 40% disrupt and pulse resistance. And with your specialization, that means that you're getting 90% pulse resistance, which is pretty nice. Whenever you face someone that is using a pulse, it really helps you out. And then the four-piece is called Hack Step Protocol. Replaces armor kits with an instant, infinite use ability on a 20-second cooldown that grants 50% bonus armor and hides your nameplate for five seconds. So and originally, I didn't think that the nameplate hiding for five seconds was really going to do much. I thought it would just kind of make you a little bit harder to see. But what I wasn't considering is that this also means that enemies don't know how much health you're at for five seconds once you pop the bonus armor. So that's actually really nice because if you run up on someone and you pop that medkit and they have no idea that you just did that, then they're just going to lay into you thinking they can get you down. But in fact, you're going to burst them down quicker because of strain, because of your crit, and just because you're in their face and the time to kill is pretty quick. So it's a really nice bonus and obviously the armor kit is good and I'm using the backpack which gives me 100% bonus armor for the amplified talent but we will get to that in just a second. For my core attribute I have 14.6 weapon damage, maxed repair skills, and a crit damage mod. For the chest piece I'm running one piece RNK and that's because I'm getting plus 15% incoming repair just to boost up my healing even more because this build has quite a lot of healing overall and I have close to 55% incoming repair on top of what my heals are doing so that's obviously very nice. So I have one skill tier here, that's the only one I'm running, but I am using Technician to get that extra skill tier. And then I have 2% crit chance, this is really the only piece that I don't have fully rolled yet, because I obviously would want maxed out crit chance, that would give me an extra 4%. So 2% crit chance there, and then 20% repair skills, and then another incoming repair mod to get that heal up even more. And for the talent, you can run something like Unbreakable here if you want, but I really like Intimidate, because what it is, is while you have bonus armor, amplifies total weapon damage, by 35% to enemies within 10 meters. So as soon as you pop that medkit and you run up close to someone, you're getting 35% extra damage, which is quite a lot. So I really like to run Intimidate. You could try something else, but I highly recommend you try Intimidate out. And then I'm using another System Corruption Holster, 12.8 weapon damage and maxed repair skills. For the backpack, this is the one I'm using for the gear set, and that's because its amplification talent is increases hack step protocol bonus armor from 50 to 100%. So I would definitely recommend you run this. Uh, the chest piece, the talent just reduces the 
cooldown from 20 to 15. I don't think it's as worth when you can run Unbreakable or Intimidate, but the backpack I 100% recommend because it's just, it's super strong. So I'm running Armor here, and then Repair Skills, and other Incoming Repair Mod. And then for the gloves, this is the only other piece I don't have perfectly rolled because I would rather probably have skill repair here. I know I'm getting crit damage, which helps with the damage, but since I have strained, it's going up that quickly. I really don't need an extra 7.9%. So I'd rather have skill repair, but then I have maxed out armor there. And then for the knee pads, <laughs> these are pretty nice, huh? I got this uh, Fenris knee pad with maxed weapon damage and repair skill, so I just rolled maxed out crit damage. So I'm using that, and I would probably keep it this way. Um, yeah, crit damage definitely there because you can get crit chance on the gun and all that. So that's why I have there. Moving on to my healing. For my chem launcher, I'm getting 56,800 for PvP repair over time. And you have to keep in mind that that's not even its full potential because I would get an extra 20% repair skills from the gloves if they are rolled correctly, and I'm already getting close to 55% incoming repair. So that's taking it close to 100,000 for a repair over time. So that is very nice. And then for the hive, I'm getting 114,000, which again would go up by quite a bit with that 20%, as well as the 55% incoming repair, probably close to 175k per charge in PvP, which is very nice. You have to really play in your hive with this build because you don't have a med kit. So whenever you're low armor, you really just have to put that hive down and stay in it while you heal up and sometimes fight from it if people are pushing you. So you really have to rely on your heals for this build since, again, you don't have that primary med kit to use. One last thing of importance to note is that I am using the Technician Specialization, and that is just, of course, to get that extra skill tier so my healing is better, and you can get that extra 10% healing perk that is on the tree. Technician is pretty meta this patch, um, with Warlords that is, and so yeah, I'm running it with this one. I wouldn't really recommend trying a different spec. I mean, you could if you want something else, but just to get that healing, Technician is definitely the way to go for this one. So yeah, guys, that is the build. If you haven't tried out System Corruption yet, I 100% recommend you do. Even if it doesn't sound like something you'd be into, you never know. You may find an entirely new playstyle that you like and you can start learning. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. I'm going to roll some more footage of DZ and PvP Carnage with it. And overall, this thing is just a ton of fun and super viable in solo and in group. So I hope you guys can achieve that too. That being said, leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. And until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold. Out.